Alright, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to do like a little video on how to make older games and games that don't have these settings look a lot more prettier and nicer if you even have it on a widescreen panel, for example. But that's using your graphics control panel. This will be done with the AMD card for today, but this also works with any other card you got. No matter if it's NVIDIA or vice versa, all this is going to work the same. And the game we're going to pick today will be Lula 3D. Because, uh, oh boy, it's a good one for this. And kind of inappropriate, but oh well. Because this is a good game to do all this with. So, out of bat, this game does not upscale really high at all. So, with these settings, this is going to really make this game look a lot nicer. And it's miles better than what it's default. So, let's load this game. Out of bat when it's out of the box. Also got a MSL at the burn in the corner. Show you how much resources this does take for the five minute. And remind you I'm recording on the same rig as well, so you're gonna see more dips than normal. Without recording, this is still playable and it still runs full speed all the time. Just FYI. So this game doesn't upscale no higher than 1024 by 768. 1024 by 768. That's the maximum it does out of the bat. You can't go any higher. Even for this being a 2006, 2005 game. As you can tell, it looks a lot more pixelated. So you can imagine how much worse it looks on a widescreen panel. So let's we'll get up. So with these tricks out of the bat when we do this game, one thing's gonna stick out the black lines obviously and the outline's gonna look a lot sharper. Which is no surprise once you use AA. So let's get to tweaking the game. And all this is going to be a main concept. On how to make this game look a lot more better looking. So the first thing I'm going to turn on is AA. It is the uh, anti thing. That's what's going to make the big difference here. Regular AA and equality or enhancement quality. I can't tell a little bit difference between them both, to be honest with you. So I figured we got overkill ready, we just max it out. And like I said, I normally leave it on AX or 8X.
and then this. Since we got overkill rape, we can just overkill it, especially if we got a real old game. And since this is our uh, yeah. So I start filtering, we can definitely turn that on, max that away out. And then what I was gonna also say was uh since this is a direct text design game, we can use texture filtering quality. That's what this is mostly for. Mostly for direct text design games. So if we could turn it on high, especially got older game. Another thing I'm gonna mess with, hence the uh, hence the MSI out the burn is uh, image sharpening. I can't really tell much differences with it. If I can find where it's at. Okay, here it is. Like I said, even when it's at like 30 or 50 or even 100, I can't tell where we're different. To me, it's real kind of neck picking. And I don't know how much processes this adds in the background. So hence why we use after, uh, MSI Afterburner for the final. Alright, so that's on. Now let's load this game up with those settings. I'm also going to do with the image, sharp uh, image sharpening off. Yeah, keep the rest of the settings the same. Lulu looks a lot sharper. Thanks to AA. And then you can only tell the textures and the ground look a lot more nicer thanks to the isotop filtering. One thing I noticed with AA a bit, I like how these cars look a lot shinier. And a lot sharper. Since it is kind of adding more pixels into it, and kind of upscale it, but not really. So you guys see more dips because I am recording this on the same rig. If I was gonna record this rig, it doesn't dip at all. Since this rig's way overkill for this game. You definitely can tell on the window, uh, the, on the window frames will look a lot sharper. And I can't imagine if it was able to upscale this game, it would look even better. That's like how the ground gets a little shim to it. Always can tell how look ugh, how sharp she really looks. I bet. No pun intended. All right, now we're gonna do this with the image sharpening off.
dog was stuck right there. So yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks to AA and isotope filtering, that's a, just want to make a big difference here. Thanks to those with the ground control panel, we wouldn't hear it pulse off. And another thing I like to do, especially on a widescreen panel, with older games, always use your scaling mode. Or aspect ratio. You don't mind the black bars in your screen, especially playing on white screen. H2 scale is pretty good, but it's limited in what you can do with on your panel in terms of what size panel you got. In my case, I got a 1080p panel, so this is kind of limited. Suppose if you've got a bigger panel, this is more flexible. I can tell you what. These settings minus image sharpening and interscaling. Oh, it looks really sharp. So it's cropping an image and it's. Mm. But I'm going to use uh, aspect ratio, isotropic filtering, and uh, interscaling. It's called today. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.